What's up guys, Intentional back with yet another video. Now you probably noticed the thumbnail is different. I want to have a different thumbnail for different subjects I'll go through in videos to make it easier for people to navigate my channel and what they find interesting. And the blue thumbnail is simply on videos where I talk about anything I want, mainly aquatic subjects because that's what I find fascinating. But I will definitely talk about other subjects related to history, science, or just cool interesting stuff. And in today's video, we're simply going to be talking about facts on corals, the aliens of the sea. So without any further ado, let's just hop into it. Number 1. Corals come in a huge variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. Being put into different categories, the biggest being soft and hard corals. These creatures look awesome and live for quite a while as well, with some day to be a few hundred years old. And you did hear me right, I said creatures. Many people believe that corals are plants, and they simply aren't. They are animals related to jellyfish and anemones. Number 2. However, they do rely on photosynthesis. But the coral itself doesn't do the process. Microscopic algae called zoanthellae actually live within the coral's digestive lining within its polyps, giving as much as 90% of the energy needed. Other energy is found within the coral themselves, extending tentacles out from the polyp in order to catch prey or float in the breeze. It is worth pointing out that not all corals rely on xenothelia for energy and may rely solely on its own for the energy needed. Number 3. Did you know corals make up coral reefs? No crap right, but did you know that there are actually three different types of reefs? Barrier reefs, which help to protect lagoons and other shallow waters, coral atolls, which form around volcanic remains, and fringing reefs, which are found right along a coastline. Number 4. Reefs account for nearly 25% of all marine life, with the reefs themselves taking up less than 2% of the ocean, essentially making them the rainforest of the sea. You can find up to 3,000 different species in some reefs, the reef providing food and places of shelter for these animals, and it's just not aquatic life that benefits from them. Number 5. The reef is hugely beneficial to us, providing food, jobs, and even potential medical cures. You see, most corals are stationary and have evolved to use chemical warfare as a defense. It is believed that these chemicals could be used in medicine against cancer, arthritis, human bacterial infections, and other types of diseases as well. Reefs also bring in tourism, which in turn brings jobs to the surrounding areas. And according to the World Resources Institute, one kilometer of destruction on a coral reef results in about $137,000 to $1.2 million of revenue loss over a 25-year lifespan. Not only is this bad for the ecosystem, this is bad for the local economies as well. And this brings us to the last fact, but the most important one. Number 6. Corals are stressing out. And when stressed out, they turn white, losing their beneficial algae and eventually dying. About one-fifth of the world's coral reefs have already been lost or damaged. It is estimated that we could lose another 35% in the next 10 to 40 years. This is due in part to overfishing. It's been estimated that we fish 64% over what the systems can sustain. And some fishing techniques are very destructive, such as dynamite and cyanide fishing. Another factor being global warming of the waters. Corals are very sensitive, and they simply cannot adapt quick enough for the temperature increase. So what can we do to help prevent this? And it's pretty simple. Just go green. Lower your carbon footprint. Reduce how much water you actually use. Actually recycle. Pretty much everything you've heard a dozen times before. Because it does help. And if you do visit coral reefs, don't interact or move any animals you see. And make sure to not anchor on the reef itself. This happens way more than you would think actually. And you know, hopefully you guys are a little bit more educated on corals and reefs. And if you liked the video, leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.